take a look at this calculator, which is a TI-30XA, and this one happens to be solar. Um, we want to first find F sub 8 using the Fibonacci formula, and here's the formula, so I just want to plug in where the capital N is. I'm going to plug in the 8, so I have 1 over square root of 5 times this quantity, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 to the 8th power minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 to the 8th power. So where I saw a big N, all three places, I put in the 8. Now I want to do it on the calculator. So first thing I have to do is work inside the big parentheses and then inside either one of these two, but I'll start with this one. I want to do 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So on this calculator, I type in the 5 first, do the square root button, and that gives me the square root of 5, and now I want to add 1, so plus 1, and I get the 3.236, and then divide by 2 equals, and so last thing that gives me that whole set of parentheses, 1.618, and then I want to raise it to the 8th power, so I use my to the button, which on this calculator looks like y to the x, so I push that, and then type 8, and equals, and now I have 46, I'll write this down, 46.9787, on and on. I want to store that, so I'll use store, and then you just pick a digit. So I'll do store 1, and that stored it in position 1, so I want to, or bin 1, so I want to make sure I write that down so I don't forget where I stored this number. Now I want to start over on this one. I have to take the square root and then change its sign. So let's do the square root first, so I do 5, take the square root, and then I want to change its sign to a negative, so I push this plus slash minus button that changes the sign on the, the square root of 5, so now it's a negative square, square root, and then I'm just adding 1, so plus 1 equals, now I have my whole numerator, and then I need to divide by 2 equals, and then raise it to the 8th power, so my to the button again, to the 8th equals again, and now I have 0 0.0212, and it goes on. And I'm going to store that in bin 2. That makes it easy for me. So I'll just do store 2, and then it's stored in the second bin. And now you can see I need to subtract those two. So I'll do what's in bin 1 minus what's in bin 2. So I can do recall to get it out. So recall 1, and it shows my 46.97 and so on minus recall bin 2, and it shows my 0.212, and on and on, and then equals, and now I have the result for this whole big set of parentheses here, so I have 46.9574, and it goes on, and that I need to multiply by 1 over square root of 5, which remember is going to be the same thing, think of that as being over 1, so it multiplies straight across, for the top and the bottom, so I have 46.9574 over square root of 5. That makes it easier to do on the calculator. So when I multiply something by 1 over square root of 5, it's the same thing as dividing by square root of 5. So I'm going to take what I have on the calculator, divided by, and then I'll use parentheses to take care of that square root. So I put parentheses, 5, square root, end parentheses, and then equals, and I get 21. So F sub 8 is 21. And here I have a list of the Fibonacci numbers, so you can see 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. F sub 8 is definitely 21. Let's do one more. And this one is a little bit larger number, so we won't be able to verify it as quickly, but find f sub 40 using the Fibonacci formula. So I'm going to rewrite everything with the 40 equals, so I have 1 over the square root of 5 times the big quantity, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the 40th power minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the 40th power and in the parentheses. So again, start inside this innermost parentheses set, 
and on this calculator I have to do 5 and then the square root and then plus 1 and then divide by 2 and then raise to the, there's a to the button, to the 40th power and I get a very large number, 22882612712 and I want to store that in bin 1 so to do that remember push store in bin 1 and you don't have to do equals and then now I want to calculate this second set of parentheses so by order of operations I'll take care of that square root first so square root of 5 remember I have to change it to a negative so I use that plus minus button and then this is a positive 1 being added so plus 1 equals that gives me my numerator divide by 2 that gives me the whole quantity in the parentheses and now to the 40th so y to the x and the 40th power and I have a very tiny number, 0 .000, and I'm just going to put like that. There's a bunch of zeros and then a 4. I want to store that because I don't want to count all the zeros and, and then mistype when I try to put them back in. So I'll store that in bin 2. And now you can see I need to do bin 1 minus bin 2. So recall 1, there's my big number, minus recall 2, there's my tiny number, equals and so I have 22882612127 and remember that'll be the same thing it's dividing by square root of 5 to take this little piece right here so divide by the square root of 5 so divided by use your parentheses put 5 and the square root end your parentheses and push equals and so I get for f sub 40, it's a very large number, but 1023341.